Hi and welcome to Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is June 13, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Without further ado, let's get right to the news. Okay, for those who are new, I just would like to let you know that I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URL and where I'm getting the information from, and the rest is up to you if you'd like to pick up where I left off. Our first story is from eCommerce Bytes, and I just want to give that URL to you. It's www.ecommercebytes.com. This story was posted June 12, 2019, and it goes on to say eBay experiences major technical issues on Wednesday. <clears throat> I'm sorry, folks. If you guys are not noticing or if you haven't heard, I've heard about it uh, through um, DowDetected.com. It's a website. I think I've given it to you guys in the past. If not, uh, I'll drop a link below. And what DowDetected.com is, it keeps track of all the big tech companies and lets you know when they're experiencing outages, website problems, logon issues, and so forth. Very good site. Uh, I could give you the URL right now. It's www.downdetector.com. But anyway, let's read a little more about this here. <clears throat> it goes on to say eBay experiences major technical issues on Wednesday. And uh, the story starts off like this here. eBay stated that users had trouble accessing, accessing the site for a short period on Wednesday. Though the acknowledgement came in a response to a post on Twitter rather than in any announcement we could find. The problem was reported on e-commerce EKG at 2.30 a.m. And Down Detector, which I just talked about before, shows a huge spike of reports that came in overnight between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. It goes on to say here, this was a typical tweet that came uh, in the during, during the incident at 2.56 a.m. at Ask eBay, eBay Power Seller with 25,000 and plus on Facebook here. Uh, the site and the app are down. I cannot process my orders. Uh, it goes on to say here, Ask eBay responded at 2.41 p.m. eBay experienced technical difficulties for a short period today where the users may have temporarily had trouble accessing, accessing the site. The issue is now fully resolved. Apologies for any convenience. And then a little further down here, I'm not going to read too, too much into this here because this, I think there's still quite a bit to read here. At 2.44 a.m., a user tweeted at Ask eBay, your site is down, to which eBay, uh, to which Ask eBay responded at 2.27 p.m. Hi, eBay experienced technical difficulties for a short period today where users have temporarily had trouble accessing HTTP colon slash site A, a site as as of now, everything should be up and running. I apologize for any convenience this brought. And it goes on to keep talking a little more about the site going up and down. But if you guys have been experiencing any uh, situations where you had slow sales, no sales, in my case, I had no sales. Oh, I, actually, I should say that I had one sale. I think that came in uh, in the wee hours of the morning. I guess that's maybe when it came up. I didn't get a chance to read this whole thing here. Uh, I, as you can see, I have a couple other window, well, a few other windows uh, that I'm going to be expanding on. So I didn't get a chance to read everything really quick. Uh, I'm putting this stuff out here for you guys to check it out for yourself. I don't know if you guys are eBay sellers out there. Uh, if you, are, you know, experienced any problems like this, if you want to drop a comment below and share it with us, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So without further ado, let's keep going on to the next. Let's take it to the next window. Uh, the rest of the windows that are going to be, uh, are going to be t expanding on are all from the same company, so I'm not going to repeat the same URL. I'm not going to repeat the company name, so uh, you know, we'll take it from there. But let me close this one out. Yes, this was not a good thing for Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wasn't happy about that. How I found out about it was through somebody in my Facebook group posted it on there, and I said, let me do a little more research, and that's why I went to Down Detector, and I looked into it. And uh, that's that was the uh, problem. But let's see what else they got going on here. Let's bump out of this window. <coughs> this one over here, this one came out uh, June 11, 2019. eBay tracking data messing up again. Oh, boy. It's not about a bunch of <laughs> plagued with problems that site. Anyway, someone had written into Ina Steiner. She is the owner of uh, e-commerce bytes. It goes on to say, Dear Ina, good morning. We have been seeing an issue with eBay tracking. Tracking uploaded on time and validated on May 7th, things started to go started going wrong on this area. <clears throat> Not all packages are impacted, just a few. 
we have noticed some type of an on update going on, slow sales, missing photos, cannot, uh, can find product in search, etc. Um, we purchase all our postage on eBay site for all eBay items. Now, let me just explain something really quick while we're on this topic here. <clears throat> I myself had experienced a situation like that where I had sold a Coleman lantern and the shipment was supposed to go out to a person in California where the buyer only had paid $9.31 whatever for it and uh, the shipping calculator uh, on the eBay site was not calculating the, pro the postage properly. Uh, it was supposed to be $26 for the shipping to California and therefore... Um, <laughs> I had messaged the buyer, I'm giving the buyer a benefit of doubt, I messaged him this Monday, stating that uh, if they want this item to be shipped to them, they will have to, you know, ante up another $17 and change in order for me to ship it out to them. But, um, you know, there's been a problem, like I said, for me anyway, at least on that particular order, the shipping calculator was messed up. I called up eBay and they did verify it that, you know, yes, there was a problem with that and um, that I was to contact the buyer and let them know if they want to pay the additional shipping and if not then I can cancel it out but I have another person that's looking to buy it uh, off eBay uh, which is my priority um, I'm doing it off of the, just to share with you guys I'm doing it off of uh, Facebook marketplace matter of fact I gotta call the person tomorrow uh, to see if they still are interested in this item and if not I will just leave it the way it is but anyway um, let's go right to this here uh, let me just read a little more into this here and uh, we'll call it, then I'm going to go to the next one. It says, we now have seven shipments showing tracking was late or no tracking on eBay. Yet, when we go to the USPS site, all but one shows that it is not only update, was updated, but delivered to with three physical days. The others appear to have been UPS glitch, USPS uh, postal glitch, well, that's from the postal service glitch, which is also very frustrating. When we reach out to eBay, the CSR customer service rep first blamed us for not loading the information, but since we print and buy directly from eBay, it should report the data. After pushing back on this, the uh, CSR, they finally, uh, they finally said uh, that they re would report an issue. Um, let me tell you one last thing, folks, before I skip over to the next one. Um, if you guys call up eBay and you have any problems or issues going on, always get a, a confirmation number and get the person's name who you spoke to. Uh, this way, the reason why I ask, you know, I'm telling you guys the confirmation. I mean, so if you do call them up, you could, you know, talk to the customer service rep. You could tell them I have a confirmation number. This way, they don't have to go through the whole thing. It makes it, it speeds up the uh, processing a lot quicker. They don't have to go through the whole. You don't have to go the whole show all over again. You know, the whole rigmarole. Oh, we're going to explain in detail this, that, and the other thing. It'll be documented in the system, and this way you don't have to worry about. It. So just going forward, if you ever. Uh, have any issues or concerns going on with the problem uh, that you experience with eBay, always get a confirmation number, jot it down, and if you do have the same existing problem or if you see the, the, the existing problem or the present problem uh, still not being taken care of, you can just call them back with that number and hopefully they will expedite it and uh, take care of your problem uh, in, a, in a reasonable manner, hopefully a quick manner because you don't want whatever it is that's affecting you, you want it to be uh, circumvented really quick. You want to get that thing up and running or whatever it may be uh, you know what I'm saying? So but, but definitely, I, I always do, I, and I recommend people to do the same thing. Uh, I think it helps out in, in the long run, too. But anyway, guys, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I've had a problem with the postage, not the tracking, but the postage problem. That was mine. It wasn't calculated properly. All right, let's move to along to the next one here. All right. <clears throat> this story came out June 12, 2019. eBay updates item specifics that help listings get found. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> Let's read a little more into that there. It says eBay has updated item, spe item specifics, which are fields that describe a product's attributes, and it reminds sellers that it's making some specifics mandatory, or in open parentheses here, uh, required in the home and garden categories. eBay is also in reminders to the listing flow. And then it goes, as part of these changes, any required item specifics in the home and garden categories will need to be added to your new or revised listing starting on July 30th, 2019. Here we go again, folks. They're rolling out another new uh, program here, something that's still embedded into this system, which most likely, I don't want to say it in a, in a derogative way, but I have a funny feeling it's going to cause some more problems, maybe outages and downs. Who knows? I don't know. Downs, maybe the system might have some more glitches. It seems like every time they roll out a new program or some kind of update, 
Uh, it always seems that it, uh, the, uh, it, it affects the system uh, where, you know, not only me, the sellers and the buyers, because if you read Down Detector, if you went to that site and read about that uh, a couple of days ago, uh, you would see, you know, you would probably read a lot that uh, some buyers and sellers were, they weren't too happy with what was going on. Uh, some people couldn't make purchases, some people couldn't make sales. Uh, it, it was a mess, you know. I don't know what's going on over there in uh, eBay, but they, they really need to get their, you know, their act together over there and try to, uh, you know, do, if you're going to do beta testing, do it on a different system, but don't do it on your main system. Uh, I worked in IT field for quite some time, and whenever we were testing things out, we used beta systems. We didn't use, a, you know, we had a test systems where we were testing out the software upgrade or whatever uh, before we implemented it into the main system. I mean, I think they should do a little more testing like that. I mean, but as far as I'm concerned, it, to me, this is my personal take, every time you turn around, they do something, it always seems to cause a, a you know, a system glitch, you know? So, uh it's not just me compl you know, complaining about this here. Go to Down Detector if you get a chance and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's read a little more to this here and then I just want you know, to you know, go on to the next page here. In October, eBay CEO Dan Wenick told Lanos he was shifting tactics and finding that existing shoppers don't like some of the changes made to the marketplace. Well, I'll say kudos to that. You know, that's true. Uh, we're very conscious that uh, we don't want to screw up the existing ecosystem. Well, you know, if they stop rolling out all these different programs and uh, patches and fixes, whatever, and updates, maybe the system would work a little more efficiently. So it goes over, you see Wednesday's full post. Now, here's the thing, folks. When you go to the, uh, if you go to this website here, I gave you the URL, you're going to see everything in blue. These are all uh, hyperlinks here, okay? And when you click them on, you can read them, okay? Let's look, I'm just looking over here really quick. Um, let me just read this really post, and I don't want to go up here for some. I want to see something myself while we do this while we're live. It says, see Wednesday's full post on eBay announcement board, which includes a screenshot of the advanced listing tool that shows item specifics for a pair of Levi's that shows which ones are required and which ones are recommended. Okay. Now, the reason why I want to go back up here, I'm looking over here. It says eBay had warning, had warned sellers of changes and the spring seller update. Let's just click this on and see where it takes us here really quick. I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm just curious to see what they have over your key item specifics. Uh, let's see. I don't want to read too, too much into this here. Home and gone. And okay. All right. Antiques, coins, and collectibles, sporting goods, and toys and hobbies. Category. Okay. Now, I was just looking at this really quick. If you get a chance, folks, I'm not going to read too much into it. I know there's not much to read, folks, but you know what? Uh, you could check it out yourself. That's why I recommend you go directly to the site. And, uh, you know, I knew you could read it off my website, off my uh, YouTube channel, but you're better off just going to the uh, site itself. All right, let's back over here. And you, you might want to check this one here. eBay had warned sellers of changes. You might want to check this out if you get a chance. All right, let's move along. Okay, get rid of some of these windows here. Now, for people who are Etsy sellers, okay, I am not. Um, I am a registered seller on Etsy, but I do not sell on Etsy. <laughs> this one came out June 11, 2019. It says, should Etsy consider return guarantee? Okay, it goes, Etsy is considering offering buyers a return guarantee. Etsy CFO Rachel Glaser indic indicated during an investment presentation at the Stifle 2019 Cross Sector Insight Conference on Tuesday, Glaser said Etsy reinvested in its customer care so that it could offer 24-7 email chat and phone support for buyers and sellers beginning in the fourth quarter after it had raised transaction fees. Etsy can help remediate returns for buyers having difficulties, she said. If we want to know, if we want to, we can actually just take care of it. The message that we want is we've got your back. Okay. I'm not going to read too much in this here, folks. For those of you who are Etsy sellers, you may want to read into this here. You want to read a little more into it. I recommend you do. Um, you know, just like I'm concerned about what goes on with eBay, if you are an Etsy seller, or maybe you do sell on Etsy, eBay, and other platforms, uh, this, you know, you may want to check this out as well. Uh, you can see there's not that much text. The rest of it here is a lot of uh, comments going on. And if you get a chance, you should read the comics because some of the people, what they write on there, uh, they really have some interesting things uh, when it comes to commenting on these topics. So let's move right along. Okay, time to give auction site eBid some exposure. This came out June 10, 2019. It says, Dear Ina, love your eBites. I recently closed my store on eBay and quit uh, and quite happy at peace. And at peace. <laughs> my question is, I have moved my listings to eBid 
uh, they still have a higher wait they still have higher they still have a regular one five seven and ten day listings uh, I think a lot of folks need to know more about this marketplace sure they are on a UK site but still let you decide if you if you list go if you list global I just today moved my feedback percent uh, there and I could start making sales uh, we all this is that we need to also talk about them so people with auctions have another opportunity to sell they are accustomed to with less fees that they have a great setup remember they have been around since 1999 I think it's time we give them some exposure don't you have a great week Vicki um, that's pretty nice I mean you got to read again uh, read the read the comments what people have to say about this topic here uh, some people are for it some people eh, you know you got to read it uh, I was reading some to you know some of the uh, comments here um, you know, it, it, they give you information and stuff like that. These are probably people who did, uh, you know, sign up with eBid. I thought about it myself because I, I, my, I myself would like to, you know, uh, list my stuff, my items on other listings, you know, sites like, uh, you know, we, like I said, I am on Poshmark and Bonanza. The only thing is with Bonanza, uh, it's a nice site. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. Uh, you can check it out. I think you go by, you go to uh, www.bonanza.com. Uh, I only did five sales last year for 2018 so uh, if that gives you any indication of what it's all about uh, eBid I don't know too much about it I know of it but I never really got into it ventured into you know, all the particulars about it so you may want to uh, check into it before you make any commitments let's move right along here it's official Poshmark selling apps expands to home goods this came out June 11 2019 it's official Poshmark has expanded beyond fashion to allow sellers to list some home goods on its mobile selling app. As we reported last week, sellers began listing items on May 30th. The category officially became a market on Poshmark today. All right, and then it goes on to say Poshmark founder and CEO Manish Chandra called the exp uh, expansion of a first step into the broader lifestyle categories uh, while expanding its uh, social marketplace beyond the closet. Then it goes on to say here, C, uh, CNBC said the move pits Poshmark, uh, Poshmark against sites as Wayfair and Rent the way, Runway. Uh, the letter, and then latter, it noted, uh, which recently stated uh, renting home goods to publications. Also noted, Poshmark has raised almost 160 million. And then it says over here, see what the readers had to say and leave a comment on the June 4th auction bites blog post so in order to leave any posts you got to sign up for this stuff here folks you could read a little more about this I do have uh, items on Poshmark I cannot say uh, I got a lot of uh, traction on it I think I only made three sales since I signed up with them and put some I do have stuff on there uh, not much but I just wanted to feel the waters with them uh, it's okay I, I it's you know I mean I'm okay with it um, I don't know if I put all my eggs on, you know, in one basket, so to speak, a Poshmark basket, because uh, unless uh, I have really top brand clothing and stuff like that, I really don't see me doing too, too much business on it. But again, folks, it's like anything else. You do your research, you know, before you venture into things of this nature. But let's move right along here. I think I got another Etsy story here. Uh, should have been together. <laughs> okay. Etsy hires chief marketing officer June 11, 2019. This story came out. Two years after becoming CEO of Etsy and going on a coast-cutting regimen, Josh Silverman showed his commitment to marketing by hiring a chief marketing officer. Ryan Scott will join Etsy on June 24, 2019, in the newly created position and will be responsible for digital marketing, advertising, brand communications, and market research and international growth initiatives as Etsy scales its brand and performance marketing operations, according to the announcement. So, for again... Those who are Etsy sellers, you may want to read more into this story. Okay? And let's close this out with the last one here. A new Amazon hook. Shopping orders to establish credit. This story came out June 10, 2019. Amazon has found a new way to attract shoppers to its site. It has partnered with the financial firm Synchrony to offer a credit card to those trying to establish a rebuild of credit. Can I give you an, can I just give you a quick for instance right now or a quick little tip here? Rather than getting involved with a synchrony card or whatever credit card, if you want to build your credit up, the best way to go is with a secured credit card where you're putting your own money in the account. I've done it because my credit was tarnished when I lost my jobs back in 2016 and uh, 207. 
I went through two company bankruptcies. I mean, uh, two company layoffs and one company bankruptcy. And let me tell you, uh, having those job losses did put a little dent in my uh, FICO score. But uh, the way I was told from my financial planner, the best way to build up your, your FICO score or get a good credit uh, reports is uh, start off with the uh, secured credit card. It could be a MasterCard. I think it's usually a secured MasterCard or fees. I'm not sure. But I think mine, for all argument's sake, is uh, a secured MasterCard. And how I started mine off at my financial institution, you put $250 in there in your own money. And when you make purchases and pay it off right away, you start attract, uh, start, what do you call it there, uh, setting, you know, setting up um, your, uh, how could you say it? They want to see a payment history. And uh, if, you, if you spend on it $25 at the end of the month, when the bill comes in, pay that $25 off. Keep doing that back and forth. Make purchases, small purchases where you could afford to make the monthly payment. And you will see your FICO score in due time, not right away, in due time, your FICO score will go back up again without going through a credit card. But all right, I just want to share it really quick with you guys because I've been there and done that. I know what it's all about. Let's read a little more on this here. It says the Amazon credit, uh, credit Builder offers a private label credit card with no annual fee. Uh, mine doesn't have any annual fees either. Mine, I do business to my local credit union. I love it. Uh, it says cardholders are required to maintain a refundable security deposit with Synchrony Bank to secure a full amount of their credit line on the Amazon Credit Builder card. Cardholders who are Prime members also receive 5% back on purchases at Amazon.com. Now, I don't think I have mine that has any uh, you know, payback plan like that. You know, if you get a payback, you know, 5% uh, you know, uh, credit, whatever. Uh, I, don't have, I don't think I have that on mine. Uh, I do use mine exclusively. Like I said, it's only a $250 credit line. So uh, it may be something you might want to check into rather than going this way. Okay, folks. Well, now I'm going to close out this video. I'm going to bump out of this window here, and uh, I just want to finish up really quick. Well, that concludes the reseller news for June 13, 2019. I hope you liked the information, and I hope you got a takeaway from it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated as to when I post new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. Until next time, bye-bye now.